welcome to this in light app in this in light app i'm going to go through a tutorial that's actually already um in the light tutorials if you want to find your tutorials all you do is you select this little in light icon in the top left hand side of your screen and you will get this um this sort of um, the backstage it's called the um, area to the settings and stuff select tutorials and then you can just scroll through any tutorial that you want to um that you want to try and we're going to do this street art one at the bottom it's purely because somebody has asked me how to do it and i've said that i would do it and i still haven't done it after a few weeks so i am gonna um, actually get onto that now so um back it to um it is a very a very simple straightforward tutorial but i'm gonna i'm gonna go through it anyway so i'm just gonna tap our screen to get our tools selected alternatively we could just select these three bars in the top right hand side and then i'm gonna go to um artistic right here and go to urban and then i'm gonna go to tools within the urban and i'm gonna select colors my first color if I select, just tap the colour, you'll notice it goes blue to say that's the one I'm going to change. So if I changed it, you'd see it would change in the little colour swatch at the bottom. So we're going to select black, and then colour two. I'm going to select colour two, and then select the first blue colour next to the white swatch, as you can see right there. Now brush one and brush two. So brush one just means that's the black brush that we've just selected, and brush two just means that's the blue. So we went if we went over, if I selected brush two and just went over this, just wiped over steadily the the face here, you would notice that it um, colours in blue. Um, let me give you an example. Look at the bike saddle, the seat of the bike. I've got brush two selected. I'm just going to colour it in blue. And you'll see it gets rid of the saddle, so it just sort of blends into the background. I'm just going to click back on my um, on my little icon there because I didn't want to do that. It's just demonstrating for you what the colours do. Okay, now we're going to go um, into tools again, and then we're going to go to um, to basic, and then we're going to go to this little restore. So I'll select restore, and I'm going to drag the colour up. So it's sort of restoring the image. Look, if we dragged it all the way up, it would just go back to normal. And I want my image now, remember these numbers at the bottom where it says restore 80 at the moment might be different for yours. But what I want to do, I want to keep the, the blue color in the background going on, but sort of get some of the detail back in the face, some of the color back in the image, but not too much. I'm then gonna go threshold, now normally you wouldn't need to go to threshold. The only reason I'm going to threshold is because if you look at these shadows here on her neck, I want to get rid of some and, and round her face, um, round her hairline. I want to get rid of some of these shadows on there. So I'm just going to drag up the threshold a little bit until I remove some of those shadows um, from, if you look at her clothing, some, of, some but not all of those shadows, especially from around her face area. So we want her face um, to be seen. Once we're um, once we're done with that, I'm then just going to go back to tools. I'm going to go to blending first, and I'm going to select hard light. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to tools. I'm then going to go to backdrop, and I'm just going to select the backdrop. Now, as it stands at the moment, you won't necessarily see the backdrop perfectly, but just know that the backdrop is there. It is going on. You can see the stars just if I select the star ones. And I'm just going to select this. Um, um, let's have a look. Yeah, just, I'm just going to select this one right here. No real reason. That one. No real reason. That's the backdrop that I want to select. So you choose the backdrop that you want to select. And once you've selected your backdrop, you can then tick and um, select the tick button in the top right hand side. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to brushes. And this is where we sort of make our um, street poster effect with our brushes. I'm going to go to effects and then you can select effects. So my first effect is going to be like this graffiti type effect. And all I'm going to do is just sort of color the screen steadily with the effect that I want to choose. Then I'm going to change and choose these little squares right here. You can't see those brilliantly. What I want, do want to do, see so these birds, I'm going to put some birds in the background, look. It's quite a nice effect for this image, that is. And then I'm going to add some leaves, because again, it's quite a nice effect. It sort of matches matches the image, and I'm going to just 
colour in the areas that I want the leaves to be. Um, so some of this as well in the background. And finally, let's have some paint splatters. Like so. Don't want it on a face. So this is my um, my street art as it stands. I'm going to select the, the tick button. You can go overboard with that, but um, I'm going to close down the, the brushes and go to my text. And then I'm going to go to decals and I'm going to scroll along, just choose whatever sort of matches your image, I suppose. And because this is the, um, the, the YOLO, um, let's have this loving this. Have that sort of here up, up there like so, but because no, let's let's not let's have the let's have the YOLO one because we go de decals and then I'm going to choose YOLO because that's the um, that is indeed the tutorial that we are covering. Somebody asked me to cover the YOLO bike lady. This is the YOLO bike lady. Once you've got your YOLO into position, I've just rotated it wherever I want it um, and pinch and squeeze for the size um, to increase or decrease the size like so, and click select the tick button. Then what I'm going to do, I am going to go to my filters, I'm gonna to go to analog, um, and I'm going to select um, this Fuji analog right here, and I'm gonna drag the intensity up to, um, up to around 75, so we can still see that yellow in the background. So that is the, as somebody requested, the street art or the YOLO bike lady. I'm just gonna save that out, save that photo, and we can um, we can have a look at that on the big screen. So my very next tutorial is going to be another another um, request that somebody asked me to do the comic book, and that's quite a um, quite an advanced tutorial. But we'll get on and do that. So I hope you like this street art tutorial, um, and I'll be back again soon with more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you soon.